Alright. Alright guys, got us some mischief here. We are going to check everything out down here. Take everyone out down here. Let's go. Open the door. Of course. Let's get you going. I think we'll spare the crooked man when the time comes. Let him get a trial. I mean, I mean, you gotta try to make some of this stuff right. Open this door. How far do we have to go in here? And I bet that locked. I wouldn't be surprised. Big B Wolf. The Big Bad Wolf. That's us. Okay, which way am I supposed to get going? You used to be something. Oh, I still am something. Okay, that's not weird. You're taking pictures of us? Not weird at all. They used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. I think... We go this way. No? No, not that way. Okay, this way. I just... these camera angles... are slightly awkward. Silver. The big bad wolf. It's sad when you can't fight. Normally, you have to it's about time. use silver bullets and cheat. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Not an errand oh, boy. I, see I just like to tie up loose ends. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. Shut up. Persuade him. Hey, I'm talking to you. Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Or was she too busy fucking whatever breeze drifted through town? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? <laughs> Can we just kill her already? Yeah, she is really annoying. I don't even understand how she can disappear and reappear when there's not really any mirrors in here. Stop being so fast. I think we should wolf out a little bit more there, Bigby. Just because. Alright, keep on going, Bigby. Keep on going. 
can I do that again? <laughs> I want to redo. Do over or not? Oh yes. Don't don't actually do it when I'm pressing the button. Come out and face me. She's not creepy or anything as her mirrored self. Very creepy. Stop being so fast. Stop being so creepy with the sounds you're making. Yeah, landing on her probably wasn't a smart thing, you know. She has glass shards that are peeking out of her. Can we just put her down so I don't have to listen to that breathing? Uh, you're being cheap. Okay, uh, can I hit the button? Go away. Stop being annoying. Get up. You're worse than a bug. Annoying bug. She's like a mosquito. Ooh, now we really are super big and super bad. Ooh, I think I like this book better. Get off. Chew toy. Come here, chew toy. I want to jump to my gnomes. Nom. Nom nom nom. There. Chew on that.
That took a lot of energy. But was still a pretty epic boss battle. Yeah, did you see that? Hello, Bigby. You're Do you want to be my next chew toy? Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of space. I won't miss next time. Well. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's yes. What I want. That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. You need to tell me right now. We're not going anywhere until I get some answers from you. That's all we want, want, some answers. answers. You're going to have to cooperate with me. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy putting a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? I'm a businessman, not a killer. Businessman. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear. Don't you dare. If you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you ask. really care about here? Where this case is concerned, do you really want the truth? This is about protecting Fable Town. When some asshole murders two of our people, it's my job to bring them down. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. Georgie. Georgie's dead because of you. He's dead, isn't he? Yes, yes my he is. My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in, but you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? All right, let's, let's get go. go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Hey! No guns. I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. You're under arrest. Be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. I say we still rough them up a little bit, just because. We'll do this one, why not? This will please the people. I know. I, I think know. But we them. have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. He's back. See, I promised. Thank God. Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's I been will hours. be. We were worried you'd run into some trouble at the Crooked Man's place. Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. 
Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily! She was my sister! How could what you? do you have to say for Where yourself? the fuck do you get off? You think you have the right and to just do this me? to people? You're so a fucking angry. Crook. This, you should be ashamed. Shit. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder of As Faith and... As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? He is yeah, dead. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. I killed him. He's dead. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie you made that perfectly it. clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I, I don't... I was told I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. Fine. Go right ahead. Wait. That's not how this works. After the rest of your crimes are read through, then you will have an opportunity to defend yourself. But only then. If you insist. Oh, you smell. are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fabletown community. Including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing sure. monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And kidnapping Crane at gunpoint. He went willingly. Yes, thank you. Now is there anything you would like to say? Yes, speak. First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily. So you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, like hell you did. Stop didn't. the charade. We know you're in. Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? Because that's man how it works. committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get but on with it then! we promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. Exactly, guys. Exactly. This is ridiculous. Yes, yes it is, but you still. Have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was well, his when business. you said get rid of them. For whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand. He murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. Tell this is fucking bullshit! Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Nope. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. Yeah, and your goons attacked me. Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man, just to save someone. 
I think you're done talking. What are you afraid of? Why not let an old man say his piece? Let because my employees are just you are trying to manipulate us. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. Manipulative jerk. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners. I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? You're the fucking problem here, not us. Really? What about Archie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? For the longest time, not much. But they asked me to come work for them. Really? The new deputy mayor wants you on the 13th floor? No. The wolf offered me the job. She wanted my tree destroyed. If she had had her way, I'd be hung out to dry on a clothesline by now. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? I know what you're doing, and it's not gonna work. You can't manipulate us or these people. We're not here to talk oh, about this. Oh, we're not? Big Bay just This is important, and I'm glad it's being talked about. You know why I asked him to destroy your tree. You were working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a crooked man. We've made some she mistakes. She is right, you know. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. Then start showing and what you that want. That may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the Sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. We didn't get you into this situation. He did. The Crooked Man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. Manipulation that way. And he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. He took Faith and Lily from us. While we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Dun dun dun. You are outnumbered and overruled. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie murders. was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's- history. What are you talking about? Snow? You won't be able to talk your way out of this, crooked man. What well, if Vivian no wouldn't have killed herself. Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just... Of need. course it's right. This man tormented all of you, for profit. Georgie Let killed him. Let me make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course. Where are you going with this? 
If I'm to blame for George's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? Snow had nothing to do with it. We all thought she was dead. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. And send him away. It was protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. We I all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This is right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Everyone calm down. This isn't I the mean, a certain here. level of privilege should be afforded to Joe. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Judging you. You just, treating you know, you as mindless need to children, shut up, too dude. Too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me... Who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby! Miss White! Excuse me, I... dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Well, guys, I'm gonna leave this one here. I hope you liked the cliffhanger, and I will see you all in the next video.